The Caribbean Development Bank's Basic Needs Trust Fund, BNTF, recently trained 11 community liaison officers from nine BNTF participating countries on gender analysis, gender action planning, and mainstreaming gender into the project management cycle. The four-day training workshop got underway, focused on using gender analytical frameworks and preparing gender action plans to mainstream gender in BNTF operations. Recognizing the importance of gender equality for poverty alleviation and sustainable development. This is according to George Yearwood, Portfolio Manager of the BNTF. The BNTF program is the CDB's main vehicle for direct poverty reduction in the Caribbean. Gender and climate change are two cross-cutting themes for the program, which responds to needs identified by the most vulnerable communities, such as water, sanitation, education and livelihoods enhancement. The objective was, as I said, a greater sensitization of the gender aspect of their work um, by providing them with uh, new tools for analyzing uh, the communities within which they work. Division Chief of the Social Sector Division, Martin Baptiste, underscored the importance of gender for the CDB. I am pleased to welcome you to this training, which is aimed at extending your understanding around gender and the capacities to integrate gender into BNTF operations. As you know, CDB and the BNTF, for us, gender equality is a very important cross-cutting theme. Every project can potentially impact on gender equality, and therefore we need to make sure that we do no harm. In particular, we need to use the opportunities that we have to enhance equality and to transform the lives of women and men. The participants spent a significant amount of time working on draft gender action plans that they could use during the BNTS project implementation cycle. These plans will strengthen the gender outcomes of current projects, some of which are at the beginning stages of implementation. In turn, the participants shared some of their key takeaways. My key takeaway after the four days of training is that gender sensitization mainstreaming is very important in the development of our countries, our communities, if we really want to make an impact. Um, my view was neg a bit negative towards feminism, but after this training, I realized it is really about impacting, empowering women and creating the balance that is needed, putting men and women on a level playing field. I think we underestimate the effect gender has on um, all the projects we are implementing. So I'm very excited on what I've learned and how I can use it to integrate gender better into the implementation of the projects. Think of gender in the sense of leaving no one behind. You know, gender is not just about women's issues, but it's about being inclusive and ensuring that the opinions of every member of society is included. I'm really looking forward to going back home and putting the gender action plan into effect. For Natalia Levy, the training will be especially useful for her to apply in rural and farming communities. Based on the information received from this workshop, the knowledge, the tools, um, it will definitely assist as it regards to making assessments, especially in the rural communities, to extend our interventions to make it holistic as to really identify the issues that are there regarding gender and to possibly assist with um, with a particular intervention that will change the gender scope in the community probably as it relate, relates to empowerment of females or assist with the, 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 the change of gender dynamics in households especially in farming communities. Critical for CDB gender analysis, Dr. Maria Ziegler, is the BNTF's ability to better measure gender results. The most significant part of this training for me was the development of gender action plans. Uh, and this is a tool where you look into the gender gaps and the activities to address these gaps, how you measure them, because in the end we want to receive uh, we want to achieve results. Since 1979, the BNTF has implemented over 3,000 sub-projects, which has directly impacted more than 3 million men, women and children.